Team Panos. I'm going to say Team Panos today because I've been giving out some auctions to other auctioneers that are supporting me at the moment. And I'll probably be doing more and more of that for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is I just get inundated. The amount of requests I get to do auctions by agents and and vendors is beyond what I can actually do. And the second reason is that I'm just giving myself um, a little bit of a easier schedule on Saturday as well. My body just recovers from that double assault of COVID that got me by surprise over the last six weeks. And actually, someone pissed me off today. You know, he said to me, oh, you know, like, what's the big deal about COVID? Well, it's not a really big deal, right? I, I agree. When you get Omicron, right, it's 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 not, it's doable. Some people struggle with it. But, you know, when you get both, and then when you take into account that you've spent 300 full days in chemo and radiation therapy over the last 15 years, that doesn't do great stuff to your fucking immune system, does it? So it was always going to be a little bit harder for me. But yeah, there's a few idiots around today, the more I think about it. I mean, we had one guy, one guy delayed an auction by 10 minutes while he's looking at a contract, just flipping through the contract. Have you ever seen that happen? Where they're just sort of flipping through a contract? And, I mean, it was looked like it was reading a novel and he's lost and I said matey can I ask you you're looking for anything specific he goes no no just having a look at the contract and um, I said okay and then I asked him again you know like do you want me to show you where the sewage diagram is what are you looking for and he goes no 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 it's all good and then we finished up the option was delayed by five or ten minutes and then I said to him, good luck as we're walking out. And the agent said to me, I was not even registered. Do you ever get those people? Do you ever get those randoms where, I don't know, they want to look like there's something they're doing that's really important. But in reality, my experience is the guys that cause the most fuss generally do the less bidding. That was that scenario. And then the second scenario, my friends, was... I had two t people ask me today. Both of them was very, very weird. You know, I don't normally get asked whether the property's on the market. I actually say it at the start of my spiel. Ladies and gentlemen, do not ask me if the property's on the market. Those terms aren't in the act. I call three times and sell when I'm at the number. And um, I just found it really interesting that I had two people ask me today, is it on the market? And both people were actually not registered to bid, which is really interesting because... What difference does it make to someone that's not registered to bid? Kill him with kindness, says Luke. And then there was another classic. Let me give you the market wrap in a second. A guy stopped his car during an auction, walked in. That was the last property we just did. He walked in and he just went inside to use the toilet. Like, that happened just at Kasula. Anyway, I'm getting all these people showing lights up. There must be a police ahead. So again... A total of 17 auctions I had booked in my system and between me and Team Panos, the final result is 10 out of 17. 10 out of 17. And we're still having some of these vendors that are thinking, man, the party's still going, but it's not. And then of course, the party's not gonna be helped because some journo tomorrow is going to write a story about a home that sold $1.5 million over reserve. That's some random property that may have even had a very, very low reserve or whatever. You get the deal. And that's going to be the headline story. Sold for 1.5 over reserve, 2 million over reserve, right? Hey, I've got to tell you, there's very few properties that are selling 2 million over reserve at the moment there's a gap. There's a gap between vendor and buyer. And I have to say to you, 45 points of contact you need to have from the minute you list it to the day of the auction. 45 points of contact because frequency builds trust. 
And trust is what's going to help make decisions on auction day. Trust when they look you in the eye and they realize that what you're saying to them is the truth. Trust when you can say to them, Mr. Vendor, Mrs. Vendor, take it. You're not going to get more. You earn that trust. How do you earn it? By multiple conversations face-to-face, by large volumes of text messages, by email reports, by a lot of eyeball-to-eyeball stuff throughout those 30, 40 days during the campaign. That's how you do it. But you know what? A lot of real estate agents don't want to do the work because they liked the way it was last year where you just list them and you sold them. You didn't even list them and reduce them and sold them. You just list them and sold them, right? Anyway, gang, that's the drill. I'd love to hear in your comments below what's happening in your markets. What was it like? What were the opens like? What are the people saying? Pretty pumped this week. We've got a lot going on, including REB. As you all know, I'm the REB coach, and they have their big awards night this Thursday, and I'm actually presenting and interviewing Michael Clark and Josh Tesselin at the REB event this week on Thursday, I believe the day is. So look out for that. I'm also uploading this week into the real estate gym, the Ben Collier interview, which I don't think anyone would have seen Ben Collier have a one-on-one conversation about a deep dive into his business, writes about 10 million bucks in GCI. We're gonna also premiere a private one-on-one session that I had with the Tesla team behind closed walls on what to do with a marketplace where vendors are not accepting the reality of it. So you can watch that in the real estate gym as well. Anyway, guys and girls, signing off.